Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Faith Connection 777. This is going to be a love reading for you guys for July 14th through July 31st, 2020. I hope this video finds you doing well, Gemini. A love reading for you. I'm going to be pulling a couple of these romance angels to get us started, and then I'll do a tarot reading to get some more details about what's going on with you. And then we'll close it out with a couple of suggest suggestions from the universe with some oracle cards. Okay, keep in mind this is a general reading, a love reading. So, um, you know, either you're single or you're in a relationship with someone or you're thinking about someone, you have someone on your mind, basically, in Gemini. And so, that's what this reading is about. It may or may not resonate with you, okay, because I'm reading a lot of different situations and people, and so um, take it as it resonates. If it does resonate for you, please like, share, and subscribe, and also feel free to comment. I will reply back to you, okay? Well, let's get started. Gemini, July 14th through July 31st, 2020. What messages of love? What's going on with Gemini? Flirt, okay? Extend your lighthearted energy to others. I feel like you're a pretty lighthearted and joyful person in general. And so really, you're gonna let that shine here soon. And I feel like that's what spirit is encouraging you to do, calling in your soulmate. Okay, Gemini, you're starting off really good so far. <laughs> Fun and flirtatious Gemini. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. All right. Okay, Gemini. What else do we have, Gemini? For Gemini. <laughs> I like the way this is going so far. Oh, okay. Wow. Engagement. <laughs> okay. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, this could be a new relationship coming in for you, calling in your soulmate. And then we also have to have a fourth one for you, passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. <gasps> Ooh, I love it so much. Okay, let's get some tarot. I'm going to use the Light Tears Tarot and I'm gonna clarify it with the Wild Unknown Tarot. And we're going to find out recent, past, current energies and immediate future for you and love. July 14th through July 31st. Messages of love and light. Messages that will help our Gemini as they go through this love journey. We've got the world card in the recent past. who may have been an ending in a prior relationship recently. With the world card here, recent past for Gemini. What else do we have, Spirit? What else do we have? Okay, we have five of wands. <clears throat> Excuse me, some competition surrounding your love life. <laughs> and then we have the card of Gemini, the lovers. Uh, having to do with your love life, some kind of competition has ended. Some kind of drama was happening around your relationship, Gemini, in the recent past, but we have <laughs> the current energies of the Emperor. Wow. You have the Emperor. This is a very in control and settled. This is the, the card of the Divine Masculine. So you're 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 on a path toward a higher level here. <laughs> very cool. Okay, current energy, we also have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, we'll get into a little bit further of what that's about with a clarification. Ace of Cups, some kind of new love offer is coming in. Either taking this time, you know, with yourself or a new love soulmate coming in. I mean, it does match nicely with our calling in your soulmate card the ace of cups is generally a new love offer coming in for you this is the current energy of your situation gemini oh my gosh <laughs> very cool not only very cool but just 
Yeah, it's hot. You got the lover's card here. You are in your element here, Gemini. Okay, dropped a card. Immediate future, we have the Five of Cups. Okay, we'll clarify what that's all about. Immediate future for Gemini. Knight of Wands. Okay, so just, it looks like there's a lot of celebration. Um, a lot of celebration happening in your immediate future. It feels like party, flirty, energy. You know, this feels like this is where you're going to meet this new love. Um, this is the energy I'm feeling of this lighthearted, flirty energy that definitely sets the tone for connecting with someone. You've got flirt, you've got passion here, and then ultimately you have engagement. So immediate future for our Gemini. Okay, the Empress. Okay, yes. Okay, so... Let me break this down for you, Gemini, okay? You have the emperor in your current energy. In your immediate future, you have the empress, okay? This is a match made in heaven. This is divinely guided. This is bigger than a soulmate, okay? This is the divine feminine and the divine masculine, okay? This is beautiful love coming in for you. I feel like you're just staying in this with this page of pentacles energy here it just feels like you have this young youthful energy you're starting over you're ready for new you're excited um, about what's to come you know there was competition around your love life in the recent past either in a prior relationship but that has come to an end here and then you know the only let me get the bottom of the deck i, I forgot the bottom of the deck you have temperance okay so uh, this is a divinely guided union coming in for you, um, Gemini. Very, uh, very, very strong love, like twin flame kind of love um, coming in very hot, very passionate. And then we have, this is divinely guided with this temperance card being here. There's pa patience, <laughs> patience, Gemini, because this is coming together for you. Um, you just have to relax and let it happen on your own. Keep this light, flirty, enjoying yourself, energy, and this new love offer is going to be coming in for you. Okay, okay, <laughs> Gemini, wow. Okay, now Five of Cups. I really want to know about this Five of Cups because it seems this is... Um, this is, I mean, look at the card, Gemini. There's some depression here in some way. This could be you, or this could be the person you're thinking about, or maybe this is a prior connection of yours, or Spirit, tell me what this Five of Cups is all about. We've got the Eight of Cups. Someone walked away from this prior relationship. You walked away from whoever this person was. Feels like they're they're sad and disappointed and depressed um, that you had an ending of some kind. Someone walked away and ended this relationship. Okay, there's a broken heart here. Someone had a broken heart in this situation. Either you, them, or both of you. Okay. Uh, what I want to, what I feel like I need to say to you here, Gemini, is that you know really this this is freeing you up to meet your empress okay this could be masculine or feminine doesn't have to be you could be meeting your your masculine or you could be meeting your feminine either way flip the roles reverse either way you have the emperor and the emperor emperor and the empress here um whatever this the sadness is over a heartbreak it's going to lead to your happily ever after. This is a ton of cups, okay? This is the happily ever after in relationship. This is, you might be grieving the loss of a prior relationship as well, feeling like wasted time or having to maybe even still deal with someone who, who's dealing with the heartbreak of it all. You know, it feels like you're, what I'm sensing here is that, you know, you're in this light, passionate, flirtatious energy and, you know, if something ended in a prior relationship, you may be getting, you know, messages from this person or you might be still having to get over this, 
prior hurt that happened here. Um, but I, I guess what I'm trying to say is Spirit's really guiding you to let it go. It's okay to be sad and feel loss over something, especially a relationship that you've been in for a very long time. Um, you know, and when I started to say that, it was 10-10 on the clock, and so really the number 10, it represents endings, and Spirit's really calling you to end this karmic relationship that you had in the past because you have a divine, a divine connection happening here with the Emperor and Empress. This is the most divinely beautiful union that our planet has ever seen <laughs> okay so amazing and so really when this this divinely guided relationship comes to be it's going to blow your mind okay <laughs> speaking from experience it's going to blow your mind okay I say that speaking from experience, but let me back. Okay, I don't want to talk about me personally, but what I want to say is, is that you start to understand by seeing some of these energies what what this is all about, that you're really leaving behind something that, that wasn't meant to be, and it's going to end up leading to a higher level of commitment and love and a dream come true for you. Okay, Gemini? This is the most awesome reading, one of the most awesome readings I've done in a long time. I will tell you that, you know, despite some of this conflict you've been dealing with, you're really moving on. You're really, you know, you might have to deal with someone who's depressed or, you know, having to, someone trying to drag you back in or whatever the case may be, but just keep it light, keep it, understand that it, it, it's for a divine purpose, okay? Ooh. Dropping cards everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna pull a couple of final messages. Spirits, angels, and guides of the highest light. Let me know. Show us the messages Gemini needs to hear. Show me what Gemini needs to hear. What final words of wisdom can we impart on our Gemini going forward in their love life? Ooh, right out of the bat. Off the, don't let your past hold you back. <laughs> yeah, this past situation is over with. It might st still try to creep up in your present reality, but it's over. And something m much, much better is headed your way. Okay, what else do we have for Gemini? Final, me ah, final messages for Gemini and their love life. Whew. Work through your fears, okay? There may be situations where it's hard to get out there and, and um, put yourself out there with flirting or meeting new people, but just know that something better, I just keep saying this over and over, something better is happening. <laughs> is coming your way and I laugh I say that right as I say that surrender to the divine okay Gemini <laughs> just like I said divine intervention is happening here surrender to it okay and then when you're out there flirting the last and final card for your be bold and make the first move how cool is this okay let your light shine have fun enjoy this time and know that something better brighter and more wonderful is on its way to you gemini okay lots of love and light sending your way please like share and subscribe and let me know how things are going i'm so interested <laughs> all right thanks so much gemini talk to you later